Hi everyone, today's topic is the principle of uniformitarianism, which is also known as the doctrine of uniformity or uniformitarian principle. The basic concept is that present is the key to the past, which is the fundamental concept of geomorphology. The, the principle is proposed by James Hutton, is considered as the founder of modern geology in his book Theory of Earth with Proofs and Illustrations. He explained his findings in his books, but it is later popularized by Charles Lyell, a Scottish geologist, in his book Principle of Geology. The theory explains that uh, today's forces and processes observed at Earth's surface are the same that have shaped Earth's landscape throughout natural history. So there is no vestige of beginning and no prospect of the end. For example, today you see an erosional landform like valley on the ground. You can explain it as it is formed as a result of past erosional activities of water or there was a river present on geological past. Second one, in the present days you observe that volcanoes spreading out lavas and which forms basalt layers. Knowing this, you can conclude that every time you saw a basalt layer, there must be a lava flow occurred in the area, later cooled and formed basalt. In this figure, Hutton's observation of cyclic nature of Earth's history is shown. That is, first, rock is break down into small pieces, carried downstream and later get deposited. This depositor, this deposits would form a rock over time. In time, new rock would be raised and creating new landforms and the cycle continues. Here, molten rock pushes up into uh, create new ones and rain and water flows erode mountains. The eroded sediments form into layers of rocks which can later be lifted above the sea level, tilted by the force of uprising rock and eroded away again. These changes seem to be more tiny but with enough time they would produce vast changes. So this is all about the basic concepts of uniformitarianism. However, prior to this gradualistic concept, there was a prevailing theory, the idea was catastrophism, in which features seen on the surface of the earth such as mountain were formed by large abrupt changes or catastrophes. Ideas suggest that certain communities or conditions that existed in the past may not be found on the earth today. The concept was proposed by George Curvier. At that particular time, European scientists had a trend of collaborating their studies of Bible like Great Flood with their studies of science. So catastrophism is a theory of Earth's features are mostly accounted by violent large-scale events that occur relatively in small amount of time. Like a species that went extinct was probably killed off by a giant natural disaster or an impressive mountain range was probably formed by worldwide earthquakes and eruptions. Here this is a comparison between two major concepts. Uh, in catastrophism, big fast violent events takes place, whereas in uniformitarianism, continuous uniform events of same rate take place. In 20th century, scientists like Stephen J. Gould challenged Lyell's uniformitarianism. They believed that catastrophes occasionally play an important role in shaping Earth's history. Anyway, today scientists realize most geological changes is gradual and uniform, but catastrophes that cause geological changes do occur occurring Earth's long history. Thank you.